This has to be one of the most amazing letters I have ever received. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. So appreciate you doing that. And guys, today I'm gonna to do something a little different. I'm going to read a letter that I got from Rafael from Spain. And I'm telling you guys, you, are, you, you do not want to skip out of this video. What I learned about Spain and about stacking in the EU and the taxes and the limitations and, and the challenges that Rafael faces just was incredibly enlightening to me. I think it's going to be enlightening to you, especially uh, my fellow Americans. And at the end, I'm also going to do something I think I, that I just felt compelled to do. I'll explain it at the end, but let me get through this letter uh, and, and read to you what he sent. Dear Yankee Stacking, I'm a Spanish guy writing you from Spain. So first of all, I have to say my English level is not as good as I'd like it to be yet. Well, dude, not only is your English phenomenal, your penmanship, my daughter looked at this and went, this is incredible. Who wrote that? And I said, a Spaniard. And she said, wait, what? <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. You did a great job. Secondly, I would like to congratulate you for your YouTube channel and encourage you to carry on making those great videos. Thank you, my friend. Well, now I'm going to tell you how I met your channel. This is funny. <laughs> I love this. I'm studying English and my teacher told me that I needed to improve my listening skills. So he gave me some videos to practice. But after some time listening to them, I got bored and began to search videos on YouTube about subjects I like more. After watching several videos on different topics, I got into gold and silver ones. Who doesn't like to see precious metals? <laughs> That's when YouTube suggested one of your videos, and I loved them at the f from the first time. Well, thanks again. I'm so glad it was... Uh, suggested to you and you you jumped on board. I really appreciate it. After this presentation, I have to say that I'm not a stacker. Here in Spain, it's difficult. And I will try to explain why. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Here, buying silver is expensive. We have to pay taxes and high premiums. Silver is taxed with a 21% VAT, value added tax, 21%. I went to a LCS, a local coin seller, local coin shop this January to get well informed. It was the first time I had been to one of these shops and there were very few of them. They live basically from numismatic coins. That's, I guess, their primary source of income. Well, a bullion coin like the maple leaf or the kangaroo, they are the cheapest ones. They're sold for about 26 euros or $28.80. Guys, this is back in January. So we're talking around $18 spot for an ounce of silver. $28? $28, $10 premium <laughs> on a $20 spot. That's like 50% premium. That's incredible. And if you want an American Silver Eagle, you have to pay about $31. Whoa. At those prices, I don't believe it's worth stacking. Do you? Sadly, no. No, I, I, I wouldn't stack silver, I think, at that level. I that is ridiculous. I think this is the main reason why people here are not used to stacking. Stacking, I think, is a thing that should be taught from parents to children. And if it and if isn't if that isn't the case, people don't begin to do it. Amen, brother. That is true. If you don't teach your children, they don't understand the value of real uh, money then yeah, they're not going to do it. It's true that nowadays you can purchase silver coins from abroad to obtain better prices, but it's not so simple. Not all the people are confident purchasing this kind of thing online. I get it. I, I totally get that. There, there's no privacy. Nothing compares to buying physically at a brick and mortar shop. You know, yeah, I sure do. I love being able to pay cash and buy your metals. Moreover, there is a limit this, this is incredible. There is a limit on the amount of silver you can import, even between countries inside the EU. And it's not very high. Uh, 
this is really cool. One other thing uh, that discourages stacking here in Spain is that we don't have a national bullion. <laughs> Can you believe it? Because I can't. <laughs> With our 300 years of history, bringing gold and silver from the Americas and being the first empire who minted the first international coin, a dollar de la ocho, I think I said that right, uh, Spanish dollar or pieces of eight, maybe you know it, it was a silver coin that developed in the first into the first foreign currency accepted all around the world. In fact, I think it was legal currency in the United States um, until 1857. Yes, actually, hold on. One of my favorite old silver coins is this right here. And it's Spanish in your honor. Right there. De Gracia 1797. Okay. And you can see right back here. Hispan, yeah, Spanish, Real, 1797. In spite of this, our national mint doesn't make a national bullion for us, and nobody knows why. The only coins that they mint is some numismatic coins that nobody wants to stack. This year, we have a silver coin whose fiat value is 30 euros. You have to pay 36 euros or more for it. And it weighs 18 grams of silver, 0.925. A little more than half a troy ounce. Less than nine euros in silver value. That is crazy. It, yeah, it is crazy. Uh, so here we have uh, expensive coins and we don't have our own bullion. So we need to buy it abroad with limitations. And you know what? Oh, this kills me. Then we have to buy coins with the face of the queen. <laughs> you can imagine how hard it is for a Spaniard to buy something with the face of the queen after all those English, English pirates stealing our galleons during the golden days of the Spanish Empire. <laughs> it is said that, we, that here you can buy gold, which is tax-free. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, guys, this this is really interesting here. You, you got to check this one out because I thought, okay, fine. Forget the silver, do the gold, stack gold. It's harder, obviously, but you know, it, yeah, if you're you know, you know, European country, gold is your stacking choice, right? So that's what I thought. But check this out. Stacking gold is not easy for many people. It is less affordable than silver. You know this better than me. Furthermore, it is not true that gold is tax-free here. You don't have to pay taxes when you buy it, but you have to pay taxes only for having it. <laughs> here we have a tax on personal wealth, a wealth tax, and you have to pay high premiums if you want to get it anonymously. Actually, it, uh, I, let me let me just stop there. Personal wealth. You get taxed on your wealth. Guys, Americans <laughs> listening, that's coming. A wealth tax to the United States of America. You are going to see taxes that will blow your mind. And one of them, I truly believe, will be what he's talking about right here, a wealth tax. Just owning the stuff. Not buying it, not selling it, just owning it. <laughs> I see us getting taxed on. All right, so and you have to pay high premiums if you want to buy it, gold, anonymously in a physical shop. Moreover, here we have a limit to the amount of cash you can pay. Uh, think about this when it, when it comes to war on cash, okay? I think it's about 2,500 euro, and the government wants to lower it more to 1,000 euros. If they do this reduction, you won't be able to buy a single ounce of gold in cash. In addition, <laughs> as if that wasn't enough, if you want to sell your gold to a shop, the buyer has to pay a wealth transmission tax of 10%. So here, gold is really taxed. That's awful, man. All right, my conclusion is that government doesn't want people to save earnings in precious metals. They want people to have only fiat currency to control them. 
In fact, I think they prefer that people don't save at all. If people don't have savings, not even in fiat money, they will depend on public retirement pension. So they depend on politicians. Oh, you are one wise man. Mm, that is so true. It's about control. They don't want us to have control. They don't want us to have cash, let alone precious metals. That brings to mind the most important reason to become a stacker. Oh, and I love this too. The government doesn't want you to be a stacker. Amen, Raphael. The reason to stack is because the government doesn't want you to stack. Oh, I love it. If I were a stacker, sadly I'm not, I have to say that the bullion I like more is the American Silver Eagle. It's fantastic. I'm telling you this to, for you to remember how fortunate you are to live in a country which allows you to stack. This is, ah, oh, man. Okay. So don't miss the opportunity to do it. If I were you, I'd be stacking too, I'm sure. Finally, I want to congratulate you again for your videos and hope you can make many more in the future. Oh, I'm trying, man. I love doing it. Maybe you could send a greeting to the stacking community from a Spanish guy. Hopefully, you may understand, really, all of my letter in spite of my English level. I'll see you in your videos and good stacking. Best regard, Raphael. I hope, I hope you can see why I read this. He sent me this. The silver coin. 1998 and and he explains what it is i'm gonna fire through this this is just uh, this is pretty quick it's a 1998 silver spanish coin in that year the currency here uh was the peseta i didn't know that peseta the coin was legal tender in the year 2000 we entered into the eu so we had to change to the euro the face value is 2000 Peseta, which is equivalent to, I think that's 12 euro. Currently, year 2020 is the last year the Bank of Spain will change pesetas to euro. So after that, the coin is going to be valued just for its silver content. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the coin. I'm going to zoom in a bit here so you can see it better. Total weight, 18 grams. Silver, 0.925. So it's silver and a little bit of copper. Diameter is 33 millimeters. Silver content, 18 grams uh, times uh, 0.925. So basically 16.65 grams of silver. And there were 2,324,000 of these made. I'm going to flip it over. And actually, it flips over this way. Oh, look at the reverse. So let me explain that. Um, the reverse is King Felipe II. Huh. And the monastery, which was his official residence during the final days of his life. Okay, so the, the coin chem commemorates the 400th anniversary of the death of Felipe II, who was one of the most important Spanish kings. During his reign, Spain expanded his empire all around the world. On the obverse is King Juan Carlos I, he is now retired, and the king is his son, Felipe VI. And then he says this, the coin is on its, it's in its original plastic sealed bag. So it's an uncirculated coin. I remember that it is said that some of the years minted were packaged in a plastic, which is not suitable for the silver because of some chemicals which oxidize the silver. So I think people recommend to extract the coin from the sealed plastic bag and put it in a capsule. All right, so I pulled it out. It's up to me, he said, to extract it. I did. <laughs> if you want to know more about this coin or whatever, just let me know. I hope you will appreciate the coin. Talk about... Wow. Generous. Well, Felipe, <laughs> I'm sending you some stuff here, okay? There, there is no way, even though it's tough to sometimes ship and I've had issues, I hope there's no, you know, import 
craziness with precious metals or, 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 or coinage or whatnot. I'll have to check into it, but I am sending you stuff. Uh, you love the American Silver Eagle? Well, I'm sending you one. Maybe a maple leaf. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to send you some stuff. Definitely some constitutional because I know you don't have any. But my friend, thank you for sending this coin to me and for that wonderful note. I learned a lot and I hope all of you did too. Please leave a comment down there. I want to know what you think of what Felipe did, what you think of what Spain is going through and others too, especially our international friends. Tell us uh, in the comments below what you go through with silver and gold. I'd be very curious to know. But again, thank you so much for watching and I hope your day is a-okay. <laughs>